telling a story about shared values and differences today. You're watching a video blog from Prayables.com and I'm Susan Diamond. They call me Chief of Pray. When I first met my husband, Michael, his son, was eight years old. We went on a family date to the United Center to watch the Chicago Bulls play basketball. We had terrible seats. We sat way up high in the nosebleed section of this huge stadium. The game was over, we left our section and began climbing down four full flights of stairs. We circled around to find the exit nearest to where we parked, and just as we were leaving the building, Michael said that he forgot his baseball cap. David told him, go get it, we'll wait for you here. And that's when I first realized I met my match. I have always been a very lenient parent. My kids were the first of their friends to be able to ride their bikes around the block, go to Northbrook Court themselves, and take a train downtown. But never in my wildest dreams would I have allowed my eight-year-old to roam around a strange sports arena alone. Not because I feared my kids would be kidnapped, but because they inherited my lousy sense of direction. Michael returned with his cap in record time. Dazed and amazed, I made a decision then and there. This was the family for me. It's wonderful when opposites attract and values are the same. There's so many examples in our blended family of yin and yang, and that's what makes us stronger. The concept of shared values is a common thread that runs through all successful relationships, personal as well as business. It's what makes for a happy marriage, a cohesive worship community, and a productive workplace. But oh, how the sparks fly when personalities clash. Yet isn't that what life is all about? The excitement of new and different with the contentment of old and familiar. It should be a given that values are never compromised. I've found if I'm in a situation where I'm trying to change hearts, I walk away a loser. But when I can figure out a way to accept that everyone doesn't have to do it my way, we all win. So what? He's a pessimist. I'm an optimist. She's hypersensitive. I've got thick skin. They're Muslims. We're Jews. Same values. We pray for the same things, even if we do it differently. Those are directions I can follow without getting lost. And now, a moment of prayer poetry from Prayables.com. He and I are from unlikely worlds. We pray to you, but with different words. Tell me, how different can we really be if our gazes fall on the one same you? From here, we lift our hopes and fears and look to your light only for strength. In you, we know each other more. In you, we find our future paths.